time for episode 378. Oh, good job. This time on TDB, we're drinking Pu'er. Yeah, it's true. We are. We are back back to I'm back. The I'm, I'm rehabilitated again. Yeah. I, uh, quick, I fell off the wagon with some young tea that's younger than... 45 years old, but we're back to drinking 45 year old tea. How old is this tea? Probably not. 15. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> anyway. So we are drinking uh, a two th- production called the 2006 Nan Chiao Double Lions. Okay. Uh, we have had the 2005 before uh, on this show a few years ago. Hmm. Um, and this one, I believe, is also Malaysian aged, so it should be pretty mature. Uh, it's a Bulong area cake. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, take a quick smell of that. Cool. And Malaysia because of the humidity. Yeah, heat and Ooh, humidity. Lord. Yeah. yeah, if you go to Malaysia, you will realize that <clears throat> the heat and humidity uh, year-round is just pretty constant. Like around like 85 degrees Fahrenheit or so and 75, 80 relative humidity. So it's it's much hotter and humid than... Uh, we're used to here in Seattle. Wow, it is a good place for things to um, age and decompose. And yep, that smells great. Smells quite strong. Uh, how many more episodes we're gonna have in me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I, it, it, here's the cool thing. One of the coolest things up here. And then I say like nothing. It's just yeah. like some like. I, I think you're, you're, cuts. you're doing one of those faces. Um, this one's for my future mother-in-law. <laughs> Shout outs to you. Look at that color. The cool thing about Pu'er is there is so dramatic of a difference between how these different things taste, how they smell, how potent they are versus what you expect. Right. The amount of different flavors within the category. And yeah, you don't get those jade oolong flavors. It's not a jade oolong, it's a different tea, but... There are flavors in those families that show up in these pu'eres. It's incredible. Right. There's so much right. going on. Yeah, I mean, if someone doesn't like uh, raw pu'er, there's so many different types and so much variety within that I would... My first question would always be, uh, what did you try? Right, yeah. Uh, because, think? like, there's uh, a huge amount of diversity in yeah. of storage and, yeah. and age and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But it just goes to show, it's fun, too, to drink if you haven't had it before because it is not... Guarantee that you think you, what you what you end up tasting is you know, how it smells and things like and that kind of stuff. Oh man! Wow. Okay. Getting some medicine cabinet shit going on in here. Hmm. Oh boy! Here we go. Ready to rock and roll? <sighs> I'm ready. <laughs> um, yeah, this looks very warm and intense. Here we go. Cheers. So. Sweet, surprisingly. You seem braced uh, in case of uh, yeah. overwhelming strength. I was expecting a lot more kicking my ass like gasoline in this. So the 2005 production was kind of in that vein. The 2006 one is, um, I- I've had this once or twice. Uh, it's supposedly a, a lot more uh, mellowed out. Yeah. Uh, it- it- the material, I think, is not quite as strong. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, uh, yeah. Interesting. It is light. It's going to get more intense. It's got nice sweetness. Yeah, it's good. Kind of has that, uh, like, ripe, uh, overly ripe uh, fruit sense to it. Like stone fruit, maybe. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that as, a, as the sweetness kind of. Yeah. But but it hints at that strength. I, I still do get, like, a touch of sort of, like, dark butter, I, bitterness. I, yeah, I think that it will get bitter, and I think uh, it will get more yeah. mouth puckering and Mm. It's good. Little it tastes a little bit of the pill ball kind of vibe going on. Um, when I say that, I mean like the smallest hint of like acrid. Like if you ever um, had an Advil or an ibuprofen or something like that, and uh, it just stayed on your tongue for a second too long, and it was kind of like ah, that a little taste bitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, you can just tell that there's like a, a hint of that thing going on in this 
Um, wow, right. that color got a lot darker. Beautiful, like oh, amber. Really stunning. Look at the quality too. I mean, jeez. Yeah, really good. And so, in we're gonna expect these teas out of Malaysia, stored in Malaysia, excuse me, to be more aggressively aged. As such, a lot of the intensity and flavors that um, would have existed in this tea at its inception probably are no longer has sort of transformed into yeah. something else. Yeah, which implies that the two thousand five step is probably an ass kicker at the start. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and sort of one of those teas where it's like, I'm I'm sort of like morbidly curious to try the version, uh, right. in in that stored in like a much drier climate like Seattle. Uh, at the same time. I'm almost certain that the Malaysian stored version is going to be much, much better uh, by my <laughs> taste. more tasty. Uh, because it's yeah. much more mellowed out. Exactly. Yeah, it just takes longer. Here we go. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Definitely leads with that bitterness to it. Right. Um, There's more minerals in it now. I think you're spot on about the fruitiness of it. More pink tannin. It has a very nice, uh, thicker uh, texture to it. Mm -hmm. And that feels, uh, it's almost like you can chew into it. I feel like a really st stimulating tea, um, just from the, the flavors of it. Very just uh, right. loud, aggressive. Um, not overbearing. It's like well balanced, but just potent. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice. It is bitter. I'm getting more of the, the bitterness, but it's not, you know, it's not too bad. Not mouth puckering or anything like that. Not accurate. Right. And then it's sort of followed up by um, that returning uh, mm -hmm. sweetness. Yeah. I mean, even just swooshing it around, there's plenty of that sweetness too. Right. And that bitterness has that kind of peaty earthiness to it. It's great. I feel like a little bit of that wooey mineraliness thing going on too. Mm. <clears throat> too strong for you? Uh, getting closer? Getting closer. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's uh, push it to the limit. No. Uh, would this be too strong for me on a daily, as a daily drinker? Maybe. Okay. You see, this is where we're opposites. It's like, I'd rather drink this daily than the Baljong. But you're, you're, you're correct. I would also not want to drink this daily. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not totally, it's a little, it's a little too aggressive. It's very punchy. I mean, you yeah. know, it's just as a strong tea. Yeah. Um, I want something that I can, I don't want to say zone out to, but, um, uh, you know, whatever. Something that's like just great, high quality. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, this is nice. I mean, as a very kind of attention driven, driven tea, um, this is good. Great residual flavor. Um, <coughs> yeah, not quite smoky, but nice earthiness. Mm -hmm. Would this pass the mom test, James? No. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Maybe um, for a mom that really likes her tea strong, <laughs> she might like it, but uh, yeah. But even this is different than someone who loves French roast. Yeah. I, I like yeah, hate yeah. French roast. Yeah. And it's just like, there's a burnt bitterness that some people really dig. Yeah. And that that is not the same. It's not what this is. This. No. Yeah. It's yeah. a different... It's more of a um, like a root medicinal bitterness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's much more of a of a medicine kind of. Yeah. 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 Well, cheers. I'm loving how much sweetness is in this still. Mm -hmm. Speaking, yeah. You know, I know we're talking about the bitterness a lot, but plenty of sweetness too. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like that is the central appeal to a tea like this. Uh, a tea that is overtly very strong and bitter is it needs to have about the correct balance of those uh, elements in order to uh, for me to really enjoy it. Right. Uh, because yeah, if the tea is just as you described it, acrid and kind of like that pill-like bitterness, I, I don't I don't like that note really. So. Yeah, it's I mean interesting to have that as part of your taste lexicon and to right. have that experience, but right. that's something that I enjoy. Yeah. Um, that's that the satanic taste. This is this to me feels like a pre-workout tea. Or a pre bar fight tea? Both. Why yeah. not both? I mean, maybe we're too Do some we, push ups we, while we're getting punches yeah, in. Yeah, I think we've aged out of the bar fight demographic, but you know. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, very stimulating. It's not too much, though, you know? It's not like. Yeah. Like it, it ha 
Some teas are interesting, but not particularly pleasurable. Some teas are really pleasurable, but not particularly interesting. Um, in the sort of spectrum of those two, I put this much more on the um, interesting, but enough pleasure that I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, um, at least so far. Right. Here we go, look at the color yeah. on this. When it gets like that ruby red, so you know that you are fucked. <laughs> well, you know it's strong. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, and then this is a tea kind of like opposite of the Baljong, where you expect it to brew for quite some time. Yes. Okay. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Mm, wow. Just that such a. Mm, yeah, uh, this Steve I'd say is probably the most accurate um, of them. Probably a little bit too strong for my taste. There's an but... interesting almost vanilla flavor going on in this though. Hmm. Man, this tea just needs another like five years. <laughs> in, in, in Malaysia. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but or maybe not even that long. Um, it's not quite too much for me. Yeah. But it's still pleasurable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not... Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you're judging a tea like this too, you're sort of judging the bones of it as well. And I, I mean, I think you're right. I think this tea would definitely benefit from another five years of age. There's a lot of sweetness, though. I mean, again, mm -hmm. if there wasn't any sweetness, this would be bad. Yeah, it, it would just be not enjoyable. I mean, there's been a couple teas uh, that uh, we've had that are just like that straight aspirin bitterness to it. And I think on those teas, I, I had someone quote back the transcript to, to me once, and I think your words were... I'm going to vomit now. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some teas like that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> what would you rate that tea? Oh, it's interesting. And, and it's like, uh, <laughs> like I would ask you, I was like, like vomit in like a good way or, you know. Uh, in a great, in a spring. <laughs> in the best way. Oregon <laughs> Coast way. <laughs> yeah. Cleansing. Oregon is in like you're vomiting out your organs from your right, body. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really good. I still, so I like the, it's still sweet. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it needs more time, but I think pick this up and you can drink it now for sure. I, I think yeah. so. I mean, I think this is a state where I would definitely prefer to drink this five years from now, but uh, it's good and I, I like drinking it now. This is a good pickup. Yeah, it's got, it still has a lot of that, um, like, uh, I don't want to say like funky basement smell, but just like wet storage smell that I think, especially if this hung out for five years in a dry stored place and like took longer. At this point, I think it would more slowly mellow out, but also, as a result, get really good eventually. Yeah. At the same point, I think the storage for Malaysia is relatively clean. So, I mean, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It, no. Th yeah. This is... Uh, it just smells like it's been... Yeah, I mean, it, uh, which it has. Aging aggressively. Yeah, yeah. But it's, like, pretty different smell than, like, something Hong Kong traditional, where yeah. it's, like, you're smelling that wet earth and stuff like right. that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Can people, where do people pick this up? They can pick it up at teasmelike.com. Um, I think it sells for a little bit under $150 right now in that range there, which I think is a pretty reasonable price for something of this cost. And what's, and, the, what's the size of the cake? Uh, 357 Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I think this is going to get real good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a, a good cake and it'll age well. Exactly. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Uh, where can people find out more about tea? Internet. Mr. Denis. Give it the Google. Google wiki T. There you'll be able to find what? Uh, I mean, tdb.org. Uh, oh, no. Oh, God. Marketing guy. Uh, 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 whatever. Just, I don't know. If you want to subscribe, you can. You want to go back to poor person, Denny? No, no. Um, <laughs> Close this out. Well. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> subscribe. Tell your mom about the episode. Uh, follow us on the... Th oh, God. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna joke about it. Sorry. Um, yeah, if you like the episode, cool. I don't know. Whatever. Tune in next time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll chill. We cool. <laughs> Shaka. I don't know. Later, bro. Face. We, we have no outro. Do we have? There's no like, like crisp little thing we say, and that's why we love tea. <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs>